Hi, this is Greg from Business Automated and today I will show you how to create a public and private channels using Slack so that you can share information with your customers and collaborators. So let's start with slack.com and the first step will be to sign up with an email. We'll use our business email here and the first step will be verification. All right, and now the first step will be creating a workspace. Select the name for your company or team and you can here set allow anyone at your domain to join this workspace. So they can join this workspace automatically. If you turn it off, they would need to get a special invitation. You can add coworkers or skip this step. You can download the Slack application for your desktop, but you can also use it in browser. So let's say skip for now. You can see that the project you have created created a channel here in Slack, so we can start. Let's go and we'll just post a quick welcome message. And you can see right now here you have a channel dedicated to a project and then you have a general channel, random channel, and you can add any other channel that you would like. So the next step that we will do, we will create a, a public channel for people to, to join on our, let's say our clients or people to, to follow us. And here, anyone who will join our Slack will show up over here, all right? And what we will do, we will make this channel private. Okay, and right now, let's get a public sharing link so that you can invite coworkers or customers or fans, followers to this channel. So let's use um, here, this link over here, and invite people to business automated so this will be either through an email but in this case we'll generate a link this link expires after a while so we'll use edit link settings and let's change it here to never expires so we can also add notifications so that we know that someone is uh, joining that or we can deactivate it let's click save and right now we have a link that anyone can join our slack channel in and it never expires it is also on a free plan. And as you can see, the main limitations of the free plan is that only 10,000 most recent messages are being kept in the history and all the other past messages are disappearing. However, there is no other limits in terms of participants that you can add in this, um, in this workspace and so on. So it's still very good for keeping your customers or followers or business partner updated and having conversation with them. Okay, I hope this was useful for you guys and good luck creating your communities.